Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm your host and in today's news, when Prince Harry and Meghan Markle announced their plan to step back from the royal family, the Duke of Sussex expressed great sadness over their decision. However, after the couple's trademarking requests for Sussex Royal were removed and they were prohibited from using the name, the 35-year-old was accused of intentionally trying to hurt Queen Elizabeth. Over the weekend, Meghan and Harry's official website announced that the couple would not be able to use Sussex Royal for any of their upcoming projects or organisations. When the Prince returned to the UK for his first public engagement following his move to Canada, he asked to be called Harry. Former Australian party leader Kerry Chikorovsky told Sky News that the act was Prince Harry's way to further spite the Queen. I am a Republican, but I thought it was the young royals that were saying, saving the royal family. There is a lot of affection for Will and Kate, and there was previously a lot of affection for Meghan and Harry, she said. So when I saw the request he made, I thought it was just another up yours to the Queen by Harry. I'm amazed that a young man who purports to have such a strong bond and love for the Queen would be doing these sort of things. Chikorovsky suggested that the statement is proof that Prince Harry may have lost sight of his goal to live a private life and become an ordinary citizen. Whatever does he get out of it? If he wants to be one of the people, fine, but I don't think anyone will ever think he is one of the people, she explained. He has lost the plot. I, think, I don't think it's Meghan who is driving this agenda, I think it's Harry. I think he has decided he wants to have his own life, and to hell with the rest of you. Prince Harry and Meghan are expected to officially step down from their roles as senior royals on March 31st. That is all for today's news, and thank you very much for listening. I'll see you next video.